Fiona Francis. I'm a graduate of the Royal College of Veterinary Surgeons in London. I came to Antigua on holiday in 1996, met a man and decided to stay. So I opened up a veterinary practice called the ARC Veterinary Clinic in St. John's, Antigua. We're just off Vivian Richard Street. So in the veterinary practice, we see all manner of animals. Um, so small animals, dogs, cats, few rabbits, and I also go out and about and do goats and sheep and cows, horses. Um, so lots of horses at the racetrack. We have a racetrack here um, where they have racing um, when the weather is good. We try and provide all services for all animals, which is hard to do because we don't have any specialists. So. I'm the kind of specialist, so sometimes I do things that I'm really not familiar with. So I talk to a lot of my colleagues overseas, ask for advice, but quite often I'm winging it and doing things that I'm really not familiar with. I have a great staff, um, including my colleague, um, Ashley Kelsick, who qualified in Cuba. She was sent there by the government on a scholarship from the Cuban government. And we have nursing staff, Shalina, DeAndre, my head nurse, Adela, my ever-present cleaner, Matilda, who can double at everything, Wilma in reception, and my son, Beres, helps out. My name is Dr. Kelsig, graduate of the University of Granma, Universidad de Granma in Cuba, qualified in 2011. Uh, got home to Antigua in August 2011. From since then, I've been at the Art Veterinary Clinic started off a bit rough as we didn't go through the whole internship which we eventually had to do in Alabama Tuskegee. A group of us together came back, went through the board um, evaluation passed and continued on with Dr. Francis. resident, if I, can, if I can call myself that, we've put into place, we've put ourselves to try and incorporate the education of animal care, animal health. Coming through outdoors have been other graduates from Cuba. Um, we have a graduate from the University of the West Indies that we also try to, to mentor, to <clears throat> in different fields and even attempt to help in uh, places where they seem to be a bit weak or, or need assistance. It has been uh, an extreme honor to be working with Dr. Francis, alongside Dr. Francis. Um, I, feel I would not, I, I cannot see myself being any, anywhere else, to tell the honest truth. So as well as my private practice, I also do some volunteer and charity work. The main people that I work for are the Antigua Spain Neuter Clinic. We set up this clinic to provide a service for people who would not normally be able to afford to have their animals spayed or neutered um, to try and prevent the number of strays that are going onto the streets and the number of puppies that are homeless or um, are born and don't have anywhere to go. So it's a clinic we run every Wednesday. Um, we are nearly up to 1,500 spay and neuters. We've been running for just over two years. And every Wednesday I, de I dedicate my entire surgical time to them, hopefully preventing stray puppies and kittens um, ending up on the streets of Antigua. So fundraising, we would love, if you want to make a donation towards that, um, you can make it in the way of a monetary donation that goes to offset the costs to buy some of the products that we need. So anaesthetics, um, consumables, so swabs. Um, if you want to actually donate products, the most expensive thing that we need and is more, most difficult to get here are the suture materials. So this is PDO, size naught. Um, this is cat gut, size six. And this is PDO, so three, three naught. So those, if you can purchase them, if your veterinarian will give you any that are near date, um, we can even use those that are expired um, and they would help us very much.